What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So every time I talk about either one of these, I get asked about which is better between the two. Back and forth. Literally last night I wore Mandarina Duck's Vita Loca for him, which is a fresher, kind of inspired by take on Le Beau Le Parfum. And then there's Latafa's Glacier Bold, which is literally a clone. They were going for direct copy of Le Beau Le Parfum from Alhambra slash Latafa. So it comes down to if I was to pick just one, which one would I recommend? And we're going to do it over scent profile, performance, accuracy, and just a final kind of a decision on which one's the one. If you're just going to get one, because sure, you don't need both, it's redundant to have both. Which is the one? Let's discuss. Stay tuned. So quickly, I'll go over Mandarina Duck Vita Loca for him. So not always super easy to find. They do restock it from Fragrance Buy. That is where I got this from. The link I'll have below is Fragrance Buy. I don't think it's in stock currently, but if you click Notify Me, they restock them from time to time. You can get your hands on it. So what's different about this, this is more inspired by Le Beau Le Parfum because it has orange. It has more aromatic notes like sage and lavender versus the iris and the cypress that you'll find, but it still has the coconut. Still has the tonka bean. It does smell like a fresher, slightly more citric, less sweet take on the bowl of parfum. I would say this is kind of 75 80% as far as the scent profile. I actually quite enjoy wearing this one. I've worn this one to the beach, I've worn this out the shower, I've worn this casually around town. I wore it last night out the shower at the recording. This I finished recording the last video and of those fragrances I had right there, I was in the mood to wear this one. I love the way it smells. I really do. I'm a big fan of this one because it's not a direct copy. It's a twist on it. But there's other factors that come into play. But as far as the scent profile, this is, you know, relatively accurate, clearly inspired by with some differences. More citric because of the orange. More aromatic because of the difference in floral tones. Less green. Sweet, but not as sweet. Not as powdery. You see what I'm saying? Like... Pretty close, but not exactly the same, but it smells great. Then in regards to Alhambra's Glacier Bold, this is much more of a carbon copy. So this retains that bergamot, coconut, tropical, sweet citrus, loads of powdery tonka bean. Has a little bit of green to it, not a lot. And there is kind of this soapiness that I don't think there's iris in here. I mean, who knows? But I doubt because it doesn't smell exactly the same. Like, I would say this is every bit of 90 to 95% accurate to Le Beau Le Parfum. They were definitely going for much more of a clone and carbon copy, and they got really close. I got to say, they did. Now, Le Beau Le Parfum, not the highest quality fragrance, definitely on the more synthetic side. This is a little bit more synthetic than that, so keep that in mind. It does smell cheaper, but... The scent profile, like I said before, is pretty close. So if you're looking for a more accurate depiction, this would be the way to go. But it is indeed much sweeter than Mandarina Duck Vita Loca. So that's something to keep in mind. But if you're looking for the most accurate representation, it would be this one. So which one do I prefer as far as scent profile? Now, because I have Le Bola Parfum, I naturally prefer the slight twist with a little bit different citrus, not as sweet. A little bit fresher. I do prefer the way Mandarina Duck Vita Loca smells. Now, if I was looking for a carbon copy and didn't have Lebola Parfum, I would want the carbon copy. Like I said, if you're looking for the carbon copy scent profile, it's going to be this one. You want a nice fresh twist. I prefer Vita Loca. Now, in regards to performance, I get around five to six hours in longevity for Vita Loca, so right around average range, roughly. About an hour of projection, maybe arm's reach. So nothing crazy, moderate to mild sillage. Just average stuff. It's literally across the board in performance. But it smells really good. So that's the trade-off here. So if you're looking for a performance beast, this really isn't the one. Now, this is a little bit closer to Le Bola Parfum's performance. It's a more cloying, dense fragrance. I do get about eight to nine hours of longevity out of this one. About an hour and a half to two hours projection, but still nothing crazy. A little bit better than Arms Reach, maybe. It's a little bit stronger for a little bit longer than this one. But the sillage is kind of what and what. Pretty much moderate to mild. 
just across the board, this is just a little bit stronger, but it is longer lasting by about two or so hours. So there's the trade-off where this is the fresher fragrance like we talked about in the scent profile. This is the denser fragrance and in turn it lasts and projects a little bit heavier, a little bit longer than the previous one. So as far as performance, this is the clear cut winner. Now as far as situations and versatility, they're both warm weather, tropical, sweet fragrances. This is fresher, this is sweeter. I mean, they both remind me of vacation beach vibes. You know, I, I live in Panama City Beach now, so I've worn, you know, I haven't worn this one to the beach because I got this after it cooled down, but I've worn this one to the beach, beach side, literally hanging at the beach. Um, it definitely gives off the right vibe. Now, obviously, you don't need to be on a beach vacation to enjoy these fragrances. I would say if you're in a warmer climate and you just want something fun and sweet that's still very fresh, you'll enjoy both of these. Uh, so the same situations, I would wear one, I would wear the other. No real difference. Casual, daytime, warm weather fragrances for both of them. So if I was recommending one, what would it be? Now, I gotta take myself out of this because it's recommending for you, the viewer. I'm gonna assume you don't have Le Bola Parfum because since I have Le Bola Parfum, I prefer the twist. I prefer Vita Loca. But if you don't have Le Bola Parfum and you're looking for the most accurate representation, you're gonna want Mason Alhambra's Glacier Bold. This is closer in scent profile. It's a little bit easier to find then Vita Loca from Mandarina Duck, and it performs better, which I know is a very big thing for a lot of people. I know we've sprayed both of these multiple times in this video, but I just love the scent profile. It never gets old for me. So for me or for anybody that has Le Bola Parfum, I would recommend this one because you get a different twist. Because if you have Le Bola Parfum, you're not really going to use this. I would say nine out of 10 times, I'm going to reach for Le Bola Parfum. I'm gonna reach for the original when I have the original more often, in most cases. Whereas if you don't have it, this is close, it's affordable, it's way easier to find than either Vita Loca or La Bola Parfum, because that does not come in stock quite often. And this is gonna be about a fifth to a sixth of the price for which you can find it for. So my recommendation to all of you, if you're looking for the best option for La Bola Parfum, I would say Maison Alhambra's Glacier Bold is the one. Well, that's my thoughts and feelings in comparison between the two what I would say most accurate and enjoyable representations of the Lobola Parfum scent profile. And until next time, do me a real quick favor, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. How many of you tried either one? What do you think? Was this video helpful to any of you that were looking for opinions and information, debating on getting one of these? I'll have links to both below. I think they're both out of stock at Fragrance Buy currently as I record this, because I did get both of these from Fragrance Buy. Um, but, you know, if you can get your hands on them, get your hands on them. If not, you never know when they come in stock, but they are really good fragrances. They're both really good interpretations of the main fragrance of this video topic, but this is the way to go. And until next time, I will say to get you either one, you get your hands on either one of them, you give them a spray now. There's a real good chance you might thank me later. Have a good one, guys. Yeah.